Okay, so we are in the Google Earth Engine code editor. The code for this project is given to you in this repository called end-to-end -end projects. The link to add this repository to your code editor is given to you along with the video. Along with the video, you'll also find a link to the data set that we'll be using. And that is the location of about 100 farms in India. And this data set has been just generated by putting random points over farmland in North of India. And you could use any other point data set that you have, or if you have locations of real farms that you want to try it out, uh, you just need the data in a shapefile format, and then you can upload, upload it. So here I have this uh, file called farmlocations.zip, which contains a shapefile. I will first start by uploading this data. So I'll switch over to the assets tab and uh, upload this from this uh, button called new, and then I'll upload the shapefile. Uh, you can upload the individual files of the shape files uh, along as separate files, or you can zip them and upload them. Uh, if you're uploading zip files, remember that the zip file should contain files only with this kind of valid extensions. If you have some other files in there, you might get an error while uploading. So I'll just go and select the files from my computer. And here's my file called farm locations. And I'll just uh, keep the asset name as farm locations and you can just hit the upload button. This is a fairly small file, so it should upload and process fairly quickly. And you can see in the task tab, the asset is uploading and starting to ingest. I've uploaded this shape file and now I have a new asset in my assets tab. Once your upload and ingestion finishes, you'll have a new asset in your assets tab. You can find it. And once you find it, you can click this import button here. And that will add as an import to your code editor. Let's just rename it to farms. And I'll let us add it to the map and see what the locations look like. So we can say map.addLayer farms and run this. And this will just show the location of those farms on the map. You can see these are all the farm locations. You can click, switch to the inspector tab and click on any point to learn more about what that uh, data set contains. You can see it's got only one property called farm ID. And uh, we'll be extracting time series in the format as we learned where we want one column for each farm and then a row for each uh, image date and then NDVI values at those. And uh, you could have as many points or polygons as you wish. You can just upload this. And once you have this data set, you can uh, work through with this project. Uh, for visualizing feature collections, you can actually give it a color parameter and give it any other colors. Let's see how we can display this points in blue. And once we run this, you'll see this points rendered in the blue color. And again, there are advanced ways to visualize feature collections. The, there's a user guide article that explains you how to visualize points. You can use categories, you can use uh, different colors, etc. cetera. Uh, but that's a little advanced topic. If you're interested, you can look at the user guide and find more information. Here, we are not talking about visualization. We really want to do analysis. So that's it for the script number one. Let's move on to script number two.